Hi kids, how are you today? I'm Brian, your teacher, and today we're studying a new book with Brain Bank. What is the title of our book? But look, look at the picture. Wow, that's a big animal. The title of this book is Mighty Mammals, right? M M, mighty mammals. What is mighty? Mighty is big and strong, right? Like this animal here. Mighty in Korean, you might say, kodehan, kodehan, right? Big and strong. What is mammal? Mammal. Mammal is a type of animal, a type of animal that has fur or hair, and it has warm blood. In Korean, you might say "poyu dongmul," right? "Poyu dongmul," mammal. Are you a mammal? Yes, we are mammals. Are we mighty? Well, maybe not some people, but there are some really big mammals, mighty mammals. Let's talk about them in this book. Here is a mighty mammal. Is it a horse? No, it's not a horse. Do you know this animal? This animal is called a giraffe. Giraffe. It's really tall. Look how tall it is! Wow. This is a man here. He's that tall. He's that tall. Wow. <laughs> He's not even up to here. He's small. You and I are small next to a giraffe. How does this man? Look at the giraffe. He's climbing a ladder. He's climbing a ladder. He has to climb up to see the giraffe in the eyes. So a giraffe is a mighty mammal, very, very tall. We'll talk about giraffes later on. We'll see more about them. Okay, let's begin. We're going to talk about different animals. Let me give you some hint or clue. I'll describe the animal. Can you guess? Do you know the animal? Let's read together. This mighty mammal lives in the Arctic Ocean. The Arctic Ocean. Brrr, very cold. Really cold. It's far north. Lots of snow and ice. Ooh, so cold. It, it, this mighty mammal, has a mustache. A mustache, right? What is a mustache? Gotsuyam, right? You say gotsuyam. That's a mustache. Do you have a mustache? No. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, I don't think so. Next, it has two long tusks. Tusks. Tusk is like teeth. Teeth ipal, right? Or ipal, sorry, ipal, right? Teeth. Two very long teeth. Tusks like this. Not Dracula, right? No, but really long teeth. Really long. Dracula has small. This animal has really long teeth. Only two. Not all of them. Not all of them. Only two. Dugeman. It eats shellfish. Shellfish. So shellfish is like choge. Choge, right? Do you eat? Do you like choge? Do you like shellfish? This animal eats. Shellfish. What do you think it is? Moyo, what is it? Can you guess? 
Well, let's look at a picture of where it lives. It lives in this area where it's orange, orange color. It lives way up here, far in the north. It looks like this. This is its home. Oh, too cold. If we live there, we need a big coat. So what is it? Can you guess? Ta-da! It's a walrus, right? It's the walrus. Here are the two long teeth, the two tusks. Tusks. These are the two long tusks. A walrus can weigh up to, up to, right? It can get up to 4,000 pounds. 4,000 pounds? What does that mean? That's around each on kilogram, right? Around each on kilogram. That's a lot. Each on kilogram? That's about as much as your car weighs. Maybe a muso. You know, muso, a car, very big car. That's about the same uh, weight, really heavy. Wow. Do you weigh? each on kilogram? <laughs> no, I don't think so. But the walrus can weigh up to each on kilogram or 4,000 pounds. Its tusks can grow up to three feet long. Three feet? What is three feet? That's one meter. Wow! That's really long. Joshim Hale, right? That's very, very long. The walrus has to brush its teeth maybe for one hour, right? Oh, no more himduro. Of course not. But if you had teeth that long, it would take you a long time to brush your teeth. Okay. Its body can grow up to 12 feet. 12 feet long. 12 feet? 4 meters. Wow, that's really long. So the body can grow up to 12 feet, 4 meters long. That is as big as, as big as a sports car, right? Do yours, does your family have a sports car? <laughs> really fast car, but even not a sports car, a regular car, or an SUV, like Muso car, right? That would be as big as a sports car. If you see the walrus, you say, oh, Muso wa, <laughs> right? Muso what the? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe so long, hey, I'm sorry. But it's like a, a big car is coming, as big as a big car like Muso. Okay, so it is a walrus. Next animal, Daum Dongmul. What is it? Let's look at some hints. This mighty mammal lives in Africa. In Africa. Here is Africa. Here is Korea over here. Here is Africa. It it, this mighty mammal, it can swim. Ah, suyong chalheo. It can stay underwater for six minutes. Wow, six minutes? Can you stay underwater for six minutes? I don't think so. I can only stay underwater for about two minutes. Okay? Okay. It eats grassy plants. So it eats grassy plants. Blech. But it likes it. It likes to sit in mud. <laughs> it likes to sit in mud. Ooh, it's cool, right? But dirty. What do you think it is? Moil. Moremnika. What is it? So it lives in Africa. It lives in this type of home. What is this? 
This is a lake, and you can see many plants growing on the surface of the lake, on top of the lake. So, what is the animal under the water? It is a hippo. A hippo. In a long word, we say hippopotamus. Oh, hippopotamus. That's a long word. Many people just say hippo. Whew, hippo. It is a hippo. A hippo can grow up to 15 feet long, longer than a walrus. 15 feet? That's about 5 meters. Old meter. Wow. It can grow up to 5 feet tall. So, 15 feet long, 5 meters long, and 5 feet tall. That's almost 2 meters. 5 feet tall, it would be about right here on me. I'm 6 feet tall, 2 meters. But 5 feet about this high. It can weigh up to 10,000 pounds, about ochan kilometer. So it weighs more than two cars. That is more than two cars. Wow, that's a really big, mighty mammal. Wow, okay? So we looked at the walrus and we looked at the hippo. Which one is bigger? The hippo is bigger. The hippo is mightier than the walrus. What other animals are there? Well, we'll talk about those in part two. But for right now, we're going to say, see you later. Okay, that's the end of part one. Okay, come back and let's learn more about mammals in part two. See you then. Goodbye. Hi, kids. Welcome back to part two of Mighty Mammals. Remember, mammals, po yu dong mul, right? Mighty, big, and strong. So, let's take a look at another mighty mammal. Here are some clues, some hints about the next mammal. What is it? Let's find out. This mighty mammal lives in Africa and Asia. So in Africa, here is Africa, and here is Asia. This animal lives in both places. Of course, Asia is up here too, but it's too cold. This animal lives in Southern Asia, Nam Asia, right? So, Africa and Asia. It, it, mighty mammal, this mighty mammal, it has one or two horns, horns on its nose. Isn't that strange? Horn is like bull, right? It has a horn on its nose? Wow! Ko nomu koyo. Its nose is really big, but it has a horn, one or two. Hmm, interesting. It has thick skin. It has not thin, but thick. Thick skin. Hmm. It eats plants. It eats plants. Do you eat plants? Yes, sometimes. I hope so. You should eat some plants. It's good for you. But not all plants. Well, right? <laughs> okay. It can run. It can run up to 30 miles an hour. 30 miles an hour? That's about 40 kilometers an hour. <sighs> can you run? 40 kilometers an hour? I don't think so. Your car can go uh, 40 kilometers an hour, 30 miles an hour. So, 
It lives in Africa and Asia. It has horns on its nose. It has thick skin and it eats plants and it runs really fast. What is it? Chogimoya, what, what is it? What do you think it is? Well, here is where it lives. This looks like in Africa. This is the home of the mighty mammal. Is it a bird? No, birds are not mammals. It is a rhino. Wow, look at that. A rhino. Rhino is a short name for rhinoceros. Can you say that? Rhinoceros. 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 Oh, 너무 힘들어. Rhino. Ah, whew. 쉬워요. It's easy. Rhino. It is a rhino. This rhino has two horns. It has a long horn and a short horn. Some rhinos only have one horn. Let's read more about the rhino. A rhino can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. Pound? 5,000 pounds? What is that? We know kilograms. 5,000 pounds, that's around Ichan Obeg kilogram. Ichan Obeg, uh, around there. Ichan Obeg kilogram. Its bigger horn, the bigger horn, the Dokun horn, can grow up to four feet long. Four feet? That's more than one meter. That's really, really long. Oh, musuwayo. I'm scared. That's a really long musuwayo. Muso. Muso. Oh. Rhino is muso in Korean. Oh my gosh. Musuwa. <laughs> oh, shemi upsoyo. I'm sorry. Okay, so anyway, it can, the horn can be four feet long, more than one meter. It's very scary. Chongmal muso. Musowa. Okay, I'm sorry. A rhino can grow up to six feet tall. That's as high as I am. I am six feet tall. That's about two meter, e meter tall. Wow. Okay. Well, Six feet tall is almost two meters, not exactly. I'm not really two meters, that's really tall, <laughs> but about that. That is as tall as an adult person, okay? I'm an adult, I'm about six feet tall. The rhino can be as tall as I am, but it weighs 5,000 pounds. That's me, that's the rhino. <laughs> the rhino is much bigger, right? He doesn't grow up, he grows long, right? He doesn't grow up, the rhino grows long. So look at that, very thin, I wish, uh, very thin person and very dung dung hada, rhino. Wow, that's amazing, okay. So that's a really mighty mammal and he runs fast. <laughs> Hi kids, how are you today? I'm Brian and we're talking about part three of Mighty Mammals. We talked about already uh, four animals, two in part one, two more in part two, and now in part three, we have two more mammals, two more animals to learn about. What's the first animal? Well, here are some clues or some hints, right? Let's read them together and think, what animal is it? Are you ready? Let's begin. This mighty mammal, right? Mighty, big and strong mammal, lives in Africa and Asia. So in Africa, usually around here, and in Asia, Southern Asia, Southern Asia, like India and Thailand, Taiguk, right? In Africa and Asia, it has tusks. Do you remember 
tusks? In part one, we talked about an animal that has tusks, really long teeth, right? Not Dracula, but a mammal. It was a walrus. A walrus has really long tusks. They can get to be almost one meter long. Wow. Okay. It has big ears, so big ears, right? Really big ears, like fans that you can wave. Oh, I'm so hot. Oh, no more toil. Let's move my ears. Ah, nice. Shuaneo. Okay. It eats plants. It eats plants. What do you think it is? Okay, so those are our clues. It lives in Africa and Southern Asia. It has really long teeth. Only two, not all of them. <laughs> Only two. Okay, it has big ears and it eats plants. What do you think it is? I'll give you one more clue. It has a really long nose. You know it, right? You know it. Okay. This is where it lives in Africa, right? If it lives in Africa, it lives in a place like this. What is it? It is the elephant. Yes, you know because the long nose, right? Let's look at the elephant. Wow, it's really big. Very impressive. Wow. Have you ever seen an elephant? Did you go to the zoo and look at an elephant? When you do, wow, really amazing, really big animal. Let's look at it. We can see the big ears. Look at those ears. They're really huge. Okay, they make the elephant look really big. And here are the tusks. The tusks actually go like this, right? They don't go down, they go out like this. And sometimes they can get really long. Let's read more about the elephant. An elephant can grow up to 13 feet tall. 13 feet tall? I am six feet tall. I'm six feet tall. So that's more than double my height. I have to look up. We all have to look up at the elephant. Hello, elephant, Josh and Hale, right? Okay. It can grow up to 30 feet long. 30 feet? That's about 10 meters, right? It's about 10 meters. It can weigh up to 15,000 pounds. 15,000 pounds? That's about Chilchan Obeg kilometer, uh, kilograms, kilogram, not kilometers, kilograms. So that is as big as a truck in, in your town, in your city. Sometimes you see trucks, like a big truck driving around. That's as big as an elephant. Wow, that's really big. So if you are near an elephant, when you say hi, be careful, Joe Shimhale, the elephant's really big. Watch out for his feet, right? Boom, boom. Oh, Joe Shimhale, be careful around an elephant. Okay, so that's an elephant. Okay, what is the mightiest animal in the world? The mightiest, the biggest, the heaviest, the strongest animal in the world. It is the blue whale. Wow, look at that. Look at the blue whale. It's the longest, the heaviest, the biggest, the strongest mammal in the world. It's bigger than the walrus. It's bigger than the rhino. It's bigger than the giraffe. It's bigger than the elephant. It's bigger than all of those animals. Where does it live? It lives in the ocean. Whew. We don't live in the ocean. We don't worry about meeting the blue whale. But it would be cool, huh? 
if we are in the ocean, we see the blue whale, wow, that would be amazing. But not every day, okay? So whew, it's in the ocean. It can weigh up to, oh, what is this number? Oh, 너무 힘들어, right? When you see a number like this, think about where the comma is. You see the comma? Then don't worry about that part, the back part. Just worry about the part before the comma. And what is that number? This number. Just think about that number. That number is 240, right? Ebeg Saship. 240. Okay, that's easy. Then the comma and three zeros, what does that mean? That means thousand. Thousand. Chun, right? Thousand. Chun. So, that's easy. We just say, we say 240,000. Ah, that's much easier. So, 240,000 pounds. What is 240,000 pounds? I don't know. In, kilo, in kilo, kilograms, that's about 120,000 kilograms. About ship iman kilograms, right? Ship iman kilograms. Uh, yeah, ship iman uh, kilograms. That's a lot. See, now I have to go to Korean. <laughs> okay. So that's a lot. That's many, many cars. How many muso cars, SUV cars is that? That's about um, 48. That's about 48 cars. Wow. That's a lot of cars, right? That's how much this whale weighs. How long can it grow? It can grow up to 100 feet long. 100 feet feet long. How long is 100 feet? Well, think about the bus. Do you ride the city bus? Of course, everybody does. 100 feet is longer than two buses. Longer. So here's one bus, right? That's one bus. That's the second bus. And we still do isayo. We still have more left. Wow. Can you imagine? Next time you are on the street, look at the street. You can see two buses next to each other. Think of the whale is longer than both those buses. And you have some more left for the tail. Wow. That's really, really long. So the blue whale is the biggest mammal in the world. Let's look at another picture. Wow, that's really amazing, isn't it? There's a, a blue whale, looks like mama whale, and her baby whale. That's really, really amazing. I wish I was a scuba diver. Skin, you say skin scuba? Scuba diver. I wish I was a scuba diver looking at this site. Wow. Really, really amazing. Maybe when you get older, go scuba diving, maybe you can see that. You can meet the mightiest mammal in the world. It's the blue whale. Okay, in this book we talked about many different mammals, many different mighty mammals. We talked about the walrus, we talked about the hippo, we talked about the giraffe, we talked about the rhino, we talked about the elephant, and we talked about the blue whale. These are all mighty mammals. They're really big mammals that are in the world. How many will you see? Maybe you'll go to the zoo, maybe you'll go to Africa, maybe you'll go to Southern Asia and see them in real life. Maybe? I hope so. Okay, that finishes the end of our book. I hope you learned a lot. Oh, no more, no more. I hope so. Okay, take it easy. We'll see you again next time. Bye bye.